Thursday. Protesters urge Americans to support resolutions of impeachment for President Bush and Vice President Dick Cheney. And we're joined now by Impeachment Day organizer David Swanson and the former New York Congresswoman that led the impeachment against President Richard Nixon, Elizabeth Holzman. Welcome you both. Congresswoman Holzman, welcome back. It's been a while Thank since you. you've been well, on I the know, show. but it's great to see you both. You know, I, I, not that he doesn't deserve it. Strategically, I don't think it's a good move for Democrats to spend the next two years, now that they've assumed power, impeaching President Bush, trying to get him out of office. Don't Democrats need to come up with a vision for the future that, that's there, that they own? Well, I think the Congress can do two things. First of all, let me say when Nixon was impeached by the House Judiciary Committee, when the committee voted to impeach him, uh, before the committee voted, impeachment wasn't on anyone's agenda, really. It was the American people who said this needed to be done. You can't be an agenda of politicians. Impeachment has to win support from the people. It can't just be Democrats doing it. It's right. got to be bipartisan. But is there any such bipartisan support for impeaching well, President Bush? it could happen because what's because when the people, if you look at the polls now, it's astonishing. The polls show an, that the American people, the majority, uh, are open to impeachment, more than open, favor it. And if you compare that to the impeachment of Bill Clinton, the numbers are staggering. Uh, it's uh, like 26% uh, were in favor of impeaching Bill Clinton uh, and 51 now 51 for, percent. Well, let me get for, David Swanson um, here. D David, uh, Bush. You're, you're not going to have support from the Congress. You have Nancy Pelosi saying it's not on the agenda. It's not going to happen. Even though they've been accused by conservatives of wanting to do that now that they're in power, they've said that's not what we're going to do. Well, as Congresswoman Holtzman said, you know, we're not organizing this movement on behalf of a party. We're organizing it on behalf of our democracy and our Constitution. And if we go into the next presidency not having held this president accountable for lying us into a war, spying without warrants, detaining without charge, torturing, murdering, reversing laws with signing statements, then you're likely to have Hillary or Barack Obama reading your private emails. I mean, w this is not about politics. It, David, this is about, about the rule politics. of law. You're, 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 David, Stop it. This is all about politics, and it's disgraceful. Liz Holtzman, there is a bill put forward by John Conyers, H.R. 635, calling for an investigation into the impeachment of the president. This is all about politics. You don't like the president's policies. You want to attack them, and you want to do politically what you guys couldn't accomplish at the ballot box in 04. That's what this is about. It won't work that way. If the American people think that this is to undo an election, that this is political revenge, that this is retribution, it'll never happen. But it is. This is what no, it all look, is. You know, go yeah. back to Watergate. It wasn't about that. In fact, just remember, when we took our first vote on the impeachment, it was so sober and so sad, whether we were Democrats or Republicans or liberals or conservatives, Peter Rodino, who was the chair of the committee, went back after that vote. He was a liberal Democrat, and he he cried. He you, cried you know, because but this we're isn't, talking about David. No, as David Swanson said, we're talking about preserving the democracy. No, you're not. not. Yes, we are about, because the, the Constitution is a critical history. thing. You guys have called the president every name in the book, and you know what, David? It's disgraceful. And you know what? You're not going to be successful, but you don't care because you put your own personal political agenda above what's in the best interest of the country. Because you don't like the fact that you lost. That's that's just pure and simple. It's transparent. You know and, the people who wrote our time. The people who wrote our Constitution knew that we would have elections. They wanted us to have elections. They also put impeachment in there six places as the central means by which we can okay, I'll impeach hold you a as president a guest. accountable who gets out of control. All right, guys, we, uh, we thank you very much. We'll uh, discuss it again, I'm sure. And coming up next, we'll have more on Sean's exclusive trip to Iraq with Donald Rumsfeld coming up in just a moment on Hannity and Combs.